Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain vibration measurement and following topics will be covered in this video. Displacement transducer, velocity seismic transducer, acceleration transducer and piezoelectric velometer. So let's start with the first topic that is the displacement transducer. As stated in the part 1 of this video, I have already explained that uh, the displacement transducer is generally used for the frequency component below the thousands hertz and therefore a displacement transducer in this case also used for the lower frequency range that is for the uh, frequency which is up to 1000 hertz and this type of transducer is also known as proximity probe. Proximity transducer works on the principle of AD current hence also known as AD current probe. So, here you can see the diagram for the displacement transducer. It is consisting of a piezoelectric sensor, then proximity module and this cable which is connecting them. In this case, the proximity sensors has some flat coils and it generates the high frequency AC magnetic field around these coils. Now, this proximity sensor is kept near the target surface. Generally, this target should be of metallic type and uh, therefore, this AC current will be flowed into the target surface and if there is movement in this target surface, the, uh, the distance between this proximity sensor and tar uh, target surface will change and therefore, some uh, variation in the AC current will be there and in this case, this variation is actually measured with the help of this proximity transducer and therefore, the uh, displacement between this can be measured by converting the change in current which is caused due to the target surface and the proximity sensor. The displacement transducer has frequency response which is excellent, then do not have working frequency lower limit. It means that it can work on the frequency of 0 hertz also. That is uh, an expansion caused by the temperature measurement, uh, temperature increment can be easily measured with the help of displacement transducer. It can also measure the static displacement. They are used in the measurement of shaft vibration, shaft axial position and casing expansion. Now, let us see the advantages of displacement transducer. It measures the relative movement between sensor tip and the rotating shaft as previously stated. It measures very low relative movement like thermal expansion. Then it is particularly useful in rigid machinery where little vibration is transmitted from shaft to the machine casing. So, here we can say that these are the advantages related with the displacement transducer. Now, let us see some disadvantages of displacement transducer. So, displacement transducer are sensitive to shaft surface defect such as scratches, dents and vibration in conductivity and permeability. The frequency range is limited only from 0 hertz to 1000 hertz. Then it is a signal conditioner, conditioner is required in case of displacement transducer, then measures the relative displacement and not absolute displacement. So, overall these are the disadvantages of displacement transducer. Now, let us see the velocity transducer. The velocity transducer is also known as velocity seismic transducer and this transducer is consisting of a magnet and a coil around the magnet. The magnet is installed here on the spring. The working principle of velocity transducer is based on the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction because this construction is generally used for the generator. Here in this case whenever uh, this velocity transducer is mounted on the machinery itself. So, whenever there is vibration in the machinery this magnet will move and here the magnetic field around, ar around this magnet will be cut by this coil and therefore, some EMF will be generated in the velocity transducer and this EMF can be measured here with the help of these two connectors. And, the, and this 
EMA produced here is directly proportional to the change in magnetic plug. That is more will be their movement in the magnet, more EMF will be generated. Is it means that the frequency of velocity transducer increases means EMF also increases. Here are the advantages for the velocity transducer. It is an active transducer, so no external power supply is required. Generated voltage directly proportional to the vibration and therefore the velocity can be directly measured. Then uh, this transducer allows you to send electrical signal over the long distance by cable. Therefore, it is ideal for the remote operations. Then velocity transducer is also having very good uh, signal to noise ratio with its frequency within its frequency range. But there are some disadvantages of velocity transducer. The velocity transducer is generally mounted on the uh, target surface itself and therefore if the target surface is small, the weight of the velocity transducer will affect the vibration and therefore you may get the wrong output in, in, in some cases. The transducer output varies with temperature. The coil in the velocity pickup is sensitive to external electromagnetic field and during measurement vertical or horizontal orientation of transducer can change the output around 5 to 10 percent. So, these are the disadvantages of velocity transducer. Now, let us see the next type of transducer that is the acceleration transducer. Acceleration transducer is also one of the active transducer because it is based on the principle of piezoelectric effect. Here this transducer you can see in the diagram that it is consisting of a piezoelectric crystal here. Again this type of transducer is mounted on the machinery and uh, the difference between velocity transducer and acceleration transducer is that velocity transducer was bulkier as compared to acceleration transducer. Acceleration transducer is also known as accelerometer. Now in this case whenever there is a vibration that is high frequency vibration here the piezoelectric crystal will produce some electric energy because some pressure will be applied on the piezoelectric crystal and as per the piezoelectric effect whenever the pressure is applied on the piezoelectric crystal it generates the electric energy and this electric energy is directly proportional to the pressure applied and more will be the acceleration more emf will be produced and therefore we can say that in this case a high frequency vibration will create some electric energy which is directly proportional to that frequency and in this way we can measure the acceleration of the vibration some special transducer can measure lower frequency from 5 hertz and also much higher frequency up to 25 kilohertz. So, note here that acceleration transducer that is having piezoelectric crystal are having very high frequency range that is varying from 5 hertz to 25 kilohertz. Now, let us move to the next topic that is the advantages of acceleration transducer. So, these transducer are very compact, light and small and no moving part is here. They need a small magnetic basis for temporary mounting and can be easily mounted with the adhesive or it can be screwed. Most sensors have wide frequency range usually between 5 hertz to 25 kilohertz. Now disadvantages of acceleration transducer, the amplitude voltage can be given in acceleration. Actually this is the problem. This output must be integrated to obtain the velocity value. The amplification that occurs at or near the resonance is significant and must be avoided or at least identified. So, these are the disadvantages of acceleration transducer. Now, one of the similar type of uh, transducer is there and it is known as piezoelectric velometer. The piezoelectric velometer is actually same as that of piezoelectric accelerometer or we can say that accelerometer. Here we one should note that the acceleration is nothing but the second derivative of the displacement. If you want to convert this into velocity that is the first derivative of the 
at uh, displacement so you have to integrate it okay so for integration you will require the circuit which is nothing but the integrator and therefore in case of uh, piezoelectric velometer the acceleration is actually the output of acceleration is connected to integration and therefore it can the accelerometer can measure the velocity and uh, this is the sim uh, this is simply the piezoelectric velometer the signal output is given directly to the velocity units because integration is done inside the velometer the velometer has good frequency response characteristics of an accelerometer and therefore it generates a linear output over a much larger frequency range so, and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you